Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and welcome to Atelier Ryza 2. For today, well, we've got some puzzling to do, because I totally forgot we still had that open at the end of last episode, so we're gonna go straight into it, unless we have some new story-related stuff. Doesn't look like it. I don't see any exclamation mark on the map, so I think we're ready. So let's see if we can make this 64% to 100. Because I do believe that we have all the puzzle pieces now. Yes. Okay, so we have completed one. Because that was we needed to uh, finish off this entire level. And we got three other ones. Uh, three, four other ones already. Alright, we need one more, and I thought that we might have missed, not missed, but we didn't have the item we needed to complete this, so... Mission, Immortal Ones. Yeah, here, Overcome Death Once More. We definitely didn't have that. Complete! Alright, which is Testament? I have made many mistakes, but I have duty to see our f mission through to the end. For that purpose, I shall overcome death once more. The witch wishes to overcome death to see her duty to an end. She believed that the key lay with the ancient magic of the Magic Valley. Awesome! And, of course, as always, the completion of these things will net us a nice reward. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, let's go... We, we can just go with this one. Activation over 50. I think this is like, um, what do you call it, uh, the level we need to activate it, because with every puzzle we complete, the percentage increase, and we need 75 and 80 to get do that one, so let's do that one. Uh, only parts are readable, strange flower and catacombs. Alright. Let's see if there's something with catacombs and flower in it. The night watches over a witch planting flowers. Could technically be it, but uh, let's see what we have uh, in store with the rest of them. If we have something that is a little bit more on the news. Because this is what we are seeing here with these puzzles, that like most of them are really like in your face. Like, this is it. <laughs> Uh, watch over the graves. Brightness and color. No. Could be it. Let's see. It is not. Uh, let's see. Watch over gravestones and brightness. Alright. Like we have everything, so it has to be in here. Yes, this is the one. Broad brightness and color and watch over the graves for generations, yes. Right. Well, let's find it. this one. Overcome death. The catacomb. This is one that has a reference to a catacomb. Oh, how did I miss this one? This has to be it. All right. The seeds of a flower that grows only in the catacombs, and if it was planted elsewhere, it will never grow. The pale flowers that grow at the cemetery are planted by the witch who mourn for the dead. They can only grow at the cemetery and watch over the graves. The newly sprouted pale blue flowers brought brightness and color to the catacombs. I hope these flowers will watch over the graves for generations to come and bring comfort to everyone. Nice. Alright. Eyes like fragment, frozen moon. Sounds familiar. Well, we are seeing these things over and over, so <laughs> eventually one or two will stick in our minds. Fairy stone, no. 
Frozen Moon Stow Eternity. Yes. Uh, Cold Moon, an emissary, emissary of Eternity. So let's see if we can find something with a reference to the moon. Ah, the cold by the moon rises, the eternal life. Yeah, that, that, that sounds right. Right. An ice-like fragment of a crystal found in the unknown world emitted a strange sort of mana. It had the power of a frozen moon. The power to bestow eternity on people and things. The world of eternity is where the cold white moon rises. If an earnest prayer reaches it, a white emiss moon emissary will descend to bestow eternal life on its seeker. The power that the witch found had the power of the frozen moon. What if the frozen moon and the white moon are one and the same? What happened when the witch swallowed it? I wonder if these stories will make more sense once you have done all the dungeons and read all the messages together. A gravestone name. No, that's not the one I wanted. Gravestone, gravestone. Let's watch over which building flowers, no. The leader of the grave guard now. No. Looks like a eulogy name. Ah. Ooh, that was a hard one. <laughs> uh, mourning the dead, expanding the catacombs. Okay, so making the graves bigger. Oh yeah, this here. A something which companions continue to expand. Yes. Lost one traveling merchant, secluded cemetery. Oh, oh yeah, it's away from humans, secluded, yeah. Complete. Another 500 SP, nice, nice, nice. All right, a fragment of a broken stone object. There is a name that what looks like a eulogy inscribed on it. It likely came from a gravestone. The witch began to build tombs on the ground, mourning the dead. The small cemetery for the witch's companions continued to expand and eventually became fast underground catacombs. The cemetery that the witch built continued to grow, turning into catacombs of great size. Gravestones were erected everywhere to mourn of the dead. A traveling merchant visited the vast underground catacombs. He believed that since it was far away from human settlements, daily necessities would sell well here. Alright, next one. Will we be able to get to 100%? I'm fairly sure then, because we have all the puzzle pieces, so there's no reason not to. Uh, but I want to do it with as little mistakes as possible. Uh, leader's armor, loyalty after death. Hmm, leader of the Grave Guardian, Leader's Armor. Could be, could be. I'm not 100% convinced yet. Oh, their mission after death called Armor is Special. So it was our first instinct that was right. Alright, alright. Trust your instinct. A witch with flowers and loyalty. Uh, watching a witch planting flowers. Hmm. This is witch and flowers, so this is our first guess.
Full income rats. Uh, the witch met her end in front of the mausoleum. It, it is a witch, but does not feel like it belongs in that one. I think it's this one. Yes. Alright, the leader of the Grave Guardians wore a magic armor he forced and faces his end. He did it follow his master who aimed to overcome death. The Grave Guardians served the witch. They intended to continue to serve her even after her death. Faded, remains of a flag. A faint picture of a knight watching over a witch planting flowers can be discerned. Blacksmith for comrades. I know the I think we had a blacksmith comment somewhere. Uh, yes, that was a clear one. Uh, blacksmithing work on fairy stones. I think we had fairy stones as well. Blade made of fairy stone? No, too <laughs> too direct. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Magic armor, life after death. Oh wait, I think Ah uh, Magic Armor, life after death. So we need to see something about armor and immortality again? Yes. And this one. Metal and man. Oh, it's definitely Complete. 800 SP. Nice. And the bomb rod is unlocked just as we wanted. Alright. Uh, the man who has mastered magic blacksmithing lost his workshop and entered the catacombs with his friends. They became the guardians of the grave, serving their fallen comrades. Two ancient warriors on a mission. Armor is special. The magical metal holds the soul of its owner uh, in it and allows them to continue to fulfill their mission, even after death. The grave guardians used to be blacksmiths. They were masters of magic blacksmithing, but chose to descend into the catacombs after they had lost the workshop. Uh, the Grave Guardians wore magical armor. Their magic armor was made in a special furnace using a special type of metal. Where is the next one? Uh, a blacksmithing tool, unlike any of the modern ages. Uh, it is similar to the blacksmithing tools used in alchemy and allows the user to freely work on fairy stones. And the magic furnace can process fairy stones. The special metal containing mana was possibly made by mixing fairy stones in it. A gold bar made in ancient times. It glows faintly due to the mana hidden within it. Alright, means we have only one left. What do I feel like? We're going to get a buttload of SP in this one as, as well. It means we have a couple of thousand SP uh, when we are done with this. Nice. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, finish this one up. Uh, scene off and the end. A new journey. It felt like it. Saw the end of his master. <laughs> no, I, I, I didn't feel that one, to be honest, but yeah. Sun and Gift. I think we have a littler one here. Here, Sun and uh, engraving on the back of it says. <laughs> A fairy stone and crystal blade. Blade made of fairy stone. Yes. 
Alright. Warrior's memory. The head guardian of the grace was the one who saw the end of the master. The witch disappeared into the mausoleum, seen off by the knight. A dagger with a blade made of fairy stone. The fallen great knight held it carefully hidden until the end. The head guardian remained with the witch during her final days and after her death kept vigil in front of the mausoleum, guarding her sleep. A necklace shaped like the sun with a small red jewel embedded in it. There's an engraving on the back which says, May your long winter come to an end. And there... Yes, there's a necklace shaped like the sun in the mausoleum where the witch sleeps. Maybe it was a gift from the leader of the guardians. Alright, final puzzle. Uh, the witch and new journey. Is this one? Walking stuff and a gift. Is this one? And the last one. Well, it has to be this because we don't have any other. Complete. A thousand SP. Sweet. And the research has been complete. Cool. Can we still read it? Just to be uh, fully aware of everything. Uh, the witch had ate enough to need a walking staff. She must have headed to the mausoleum because she sensed her death approaching. A walking staff made from a monster's bone. There's an engraving on the handle. To the kind witch of the catacombs, may you be blessed with good health. According to the story, the witch was immortal, however. She received the walking staff as a gift. It should not be necessary to someone who was immortal. Uh, the witch met her end in front of the mausoleum. However, it was not a true end, but rather the beginning of a new journey. Uh, was the witch of the catacombs truly immortal, as the story says? But she did meet her end in the mausoleum. There was once an immortal witch who never aged. She embraced the cold white moon to stop both time and her own heart. Oh, that was very sad. Oh, this is uh, the complete Richard list for all the things we've completed. Alright, that's 100% for that one. Beautiful. And uh, for this one we need to find an entrance into the back room, which we haven't found just yet. Alright. So that one is now fully completed. Uh, let's see if we have anything in town. Nothing. So we might just as well go to the next rooms. Have a little fun, checking it out. Get a little outskirt. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna have a quick check here. Yes. To see if Rook's there, because we still have two quests that I have no idea where to deliver those, because there are nowhere on the map for some reason. And that is very annoying for me. I think she's there. Uh, uh, how, do, how do we whistle? Let's say uh, here. Yeah, but uh, how do you do it? I, for I forgot about. It. I have never used it myself. Guide, help. Well, there has to be something here about the summoning beast, right? Ah, there it is. Yeah, this will summon the spirit beast. You ride on spirit can also dig at special points. Yes, but I want to know which button it is to press. Because it's not here, right? That's the one. Ah, uh, look at that. Ooh, dick spot. 
Yeah, I want to destroy this one sound because apparently you can dig and you will dig up unique items that you cannot find while walking around on your own. Gen Claw, that's definitely new. And it does seem like the monsters are scared of it, which, let, let's be honest, I can totally understand that. <laughs> he is cute though. Uh, how to get off? Same button. I'm so hungry. Yes, we have waited. Is this good? Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> now I can resume my travels. I found some customers who wish to buy everything, so I sold even my own food and then I got so hungry. Why would you sell your own food? Romy told me that I should sell even the clothes off my back if that's all I have. I think she meant that figuratively. I do not want to see you walking around naked through town just because you sold your clothes, to oh, be honest. But they said they didn't want my clothes, so oh, I'm glad they didn't. Anyway, thank you. I should get going now. Yeah, just don't sell the biscuits, please. <laughs> yes, we're up with some more beehives. Because you can never get enough of those. Oh, I love the golden onions because I was running out. See what these plants hold. Bomb dragon. Oh, that definitely sounds like something uh, I'm gonna need from a boomstick. All right. Well, while she was here, uh, I want to have a quick look at the artisan district. Because if we can deliver that as well, that means that we have completed all our running side quests. So let's have a quick gander, and she's there as well. Lucky us. Having said that, can we actually run in town as well with the beast? We cannot. <laughs> Wee. Hey, didn't notice you there. Uh, we have a lot of catching up to do, but I don't have the time right now. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll make time for you. I'm afraid I don't have time right now. I'm in the middle of doing some research. Alright, Ample. Have it your own way. I'm relying on you to bring me a wonderful accessory. <laughs> Kukarisa, I got something for you. Oh my, it's so lovely. So, you were able to shape it? Do you mind if I take a look? I see. The angles you cut made it so the heat doesn't get trapped inside. Hmm, and on the reverse edge you've... Hey, I want to take a closer look too. My word. The more I look at it, the more beautiful it becomes. Riza, thank you so much for a marvelous gift. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Kukurisa, I'd like to examine it a little more if you don't mind. What? No, I think that's quite enough. Yeah, Dennis is thinking, hey, if I can figure out how she did it, I might be able to reproduce it in a artisan way instead of using alchemy. Yeah, Dennis is a cheeky devil sometimes. <laughs> Oh, I just need it for reference. Just a little more, please. I'm afraid not. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we, we could definitely use some more scrap paper because we were running out on those. Uh, clean water? Not so much, but cannot hurt. And did I just saw something shining up there? No, it's probably just a window. All right, beautiful. Mm, while we're in town, do we want to go buy the 
Cafe a little before we head over to the new dungeon, just to uh, see what we can pick up. We do need to uh, keep that going, just for all the extra money we can get. <laughs> Let alone... Uh, uh, all the extra SP, but uh, seems the day has not passed yet. So there's nothing else for do for us than to go to the Star Guardian Lake. Having <laughs> said that, let's take out our new gear. That's the one I wanted. All right, let's uh, see if we can enter the lake. Because I want to see how that drop actually works. Because we have it equipped right now. So is it a button? Alright, the axe will help us dive, and it did say that... Oh, the, the music even adjusts itself to it. They should give us new materials as well, right? <laughs> the fallen unis. Oh, it's just not... It is very hard to see down here. It's very dark. And I'm trying to get towards the chest. Let's go up. Oh wait, it is in the water. It's just just below the surface. Emerald. So many new stuff. All right, let's uh, let's go to the entrance, and I'm pretty sure that we'll be back here a lot too. Try and grab everything we can find. Ah, kelp. So where are you, entrance? There it is. <laughs> Submerge the lower town. Uh, it's at least a little bit lighter in here, so much easier to see even for you guys. A water uni. <laughs> uh, I do need to keep check on our basket, so I want to be able to grab also some stuff from inside the ruin itself. Black muck. Ugh. Sounds disgusting to be honest, but yeah. Crabs? Alright. More crab. And now back into the normal world. Alright, I like the fact how they did that, like making it two different separate worlds. Alright. Let's uh, look around a little bit, get our bearings. And next episode we're gonna explore this entire dungeon. Well, not entirely, but at least a big part of it. Crap. 
crimson grass. I'm gonna hope that this is like the better version of the one we saw on the other location. So let's see the map. Because there's a lot of uh, rope uh, places and a bit of story piece. So let's do that story bit so that we can confirm that we're here and that they see that we did. It would be a nice place uh, to end it there. Well, to be honest, I think it sank. I don't think this water was supposed to be here. <laughs> At least I don't think so. Uh, we'll, we'll see it once we reach the mural section. Mm -hmm. I agree with Clifford. <laughs> it's huge. Well, it looks huge. Let's just give it a that. Wow. あれ何だろう。どこかが崩れて落ちてきたものじゃないみたいだけど。やっぱりあの伝承は真実だったんだ。あれはただの岩じゃない。空から落ちてきた星だよ。けど、それにしちゃおかしくないか。どうしてこんな中にそんなものがある？周りのものは明らかに後から作られてるだろう？そうなんだよね。天井に穴が開いてるわけでもないし。So maybe they dug it up underground and then manually made this entire cave and ruins. ね、上の方。あれ、建物じゃない？ ほんとだ。まさか人が住んでるなんてことないよね。ruins <laughs> under the lake. Yes. And I think this should be enough at least for a time being. Uh, bones and fur, so we can scrape the fur off uh, it if we wanted to. <laughs> Let's get uh, a few new large bones uh, from it. Because I'm pretty sure uh, all these stuff here will probably be higher level than what we've gotten so far in the other runes. But yeah, I think uh, for next time... Ooh, that's one of those punies that we saw in the cafe. <laughs> I want it. I want it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we have to wait till next time for us to uh, find one of those. And I think, uh, I think after we went through this dungeon, I think there would be a really great moment to go back to Romy and sell off some of the lower level uh, stuff. Because I'm hoping that uh, the things we are going to find here will not have the zero uh, element levels. Because then we, that way we can uh, dump an incredibly great load all onto Romy's store, which you would definitely love. But yeah. Like I said, that's probably going to be uh, for next time. So let's go back to our atelier, as always. And we got a new dungeon on the map. Beautiful. All right, lots of new items. And uh, a lot more to explore next time. So... Hope to see you all there then. Until then, I wish you a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. See you then. Bye-bye.